Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And today I got a breakup story where the gentleman is 24 years old and his ex is 20 years old. And I'm getting a lot of these where, you know, basically in your early 20s, I'd say it's probably one of your first serious relationships, if not the most serious you know, that first half of 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And you, you know, it's a dramatic experience because it's the first time you're going through that. You loved each other so much. And I'm just telling you, you're doing the right thing by writing out your story because you want to get this breakup right. Whether that's getting back with them or not, you want to know where your feelings stand, what you maybe did wrong, how you're looking at it wrong, because this is really going to shape your future relationships. And there's so many people in their 30s and 40s that are affected later on in relationships or especially people that get jealous or check someone's phone and they're like, why are they like this? Well, they had an ex that cheated on them and so they believe everyone cheats or, um, you know, their parents were like, there's, there's so many different reasons, but your first relationship will affect your outlook on future ones. So getting this right, not just getting your ex back, but understanding what happened and why and how to move forward is going to be something you'll be able to use later on in your life. So, kudos to you. Hello, coach. My name is, I'll leave that out. I am 24 years old and my ex is 20 years old. We broke up eight months ago. So that's quite a while ago. She broke up with me via text saying that she wasn't in love with me anymore. So this happens very commonly. I've talked about this before. Text is not a big deal anymore. Um, sometimes I think people look at it as a, a reason but if that's your primary use of communicating then why wouldn't you break up that way um do i think it's a good thing no what i you know would i prefer to be face to face yeah but it's probably hurts less to be face to, than face to face since then i was on no contact she contacted me three times okay three times in the last eight months first on my birthday second on, my, on her birthday to ask why i did not send her a happy birthday the happy birthday thing with exes is a big deal. This comes up a lot. Should I send her a happy birthday text? You know, if to me, if you're broken up and you want to send a happy birthday, it should come with no strings attached or expectations. That's what I say. It should just be a happy birthday for someone that I care about. Not a happy birthday, I hope we get back together kind of thing. Now, on the third time, it was two days ago, she sent me a text asking how I was and that she wanted to meet up. She's interested. She's got feelings again. And this is the thing about no contact. You've, you've shown that you're a strong individual, you're confident in yourself, and she's wondering about you. So eight months apart has been a long time. Everyone, oh, how long is it going to take till she comes back? I don't know. But the longer you're in no contact, the more it's in your favor to recover and the more it's in your favor for someone to come back and be all in. Bear in mind that I'm in a three-month relationship right now with another girl. Dun dun! So that adds a little spice. She invited me over to her place and there we talked and had sex. So you cheated on your now girlfriend. She said many times that she loves me very much and that she missed me and that I'm the one for her. But in the situation she is right now, we can't have a relationship. So she, in the situation she is in right now. So she missed you. She had a, a dark moment. You guys hooked up. You cheated on your now girlfriend that you've been three months together. I'm not sure how you feel about that. Um, does she know you have a girlfriend would be a question I have. And are you comfortable just being friends with benefits would be your next question. Don't ask if she is, ask if you are. Her mother has cancer and she studies for her degree, so she's stressed out. Well, I'm sorry to hear about her mother. Um, studying for college, I think, is tough. So, you know, I, when I was in college, I'm, I'm not uh, – the cancer thing, my heart goes out to her. But, you know, people – when you go to college, depending on what your degree is, you know, you're going to get through college. You have time. Like, oh, I have no time. Da, da, da. You find ways to get your papers done and do your studying. It'll get done. I mean, I was in, when I was in college, college actually gets easier in year three and year four um, if you stick with it. Because like a job, you get better at writing papers. You get better at studying for tests. <clears throat> Her mother, okay, the timing is not right according to her. Well, she's in the driver's seat, isn't she? She's calling the shots right there. I didn't want to push things and be needy, so after I left, I sent her a text that I love her very much and I want to give a chance to someone that wants to be with me. 
being the, the girl that you're seeing that you just cheated on? She replied that she loves me too, and in the future when the timing is right, we are going to be perfect for each other. You know what? That's tough, man. I mean, I, I tell people, I don't judge you for what you're doing, but if you're in a three-month relationship with some other woman that cares about you and loves you and you're already kind of like putting someone on the side and saying like, we'll be back together and we love each other so much, that's, that's bad karma, and I don't say that often. I mean, this is, this is, this, this is going to come back on you. And how much do you really care about the girl that you're in the three-month relationship with? That's what I would ask. And if you care about her at all, either let her go or go, you know, continue that relationship for what it is. She replied that she loves me too in the future of the time is right. So you guys have like an outside plan? I want to be with her. I love her. And I feel that she loves me too. My plan is to better myself every day, apply no contact and let nature do its thing. Yeah, but the, the question I have is the innocent individual that you've been to with in a three-month relationship, what are you going to do with her? Are you going to... You know, continue that relationship with the plan of, yeah, you know, you know, when this other girl comes back around, that's bad. <laughs> I would really want your advice, coach, and your opinion on the matter. By the way, your YouTube channel rocks. Keep up the great work. Love from Greece. Right on, man. Thanks for that. Greece, huh? Cool. Really cool. Um, yeah, well, when I'm telling you that, I, I mean... I've told, I've, I've said this in other ways. I'm no angel in my past and in relationships. You know, um, I didn't always do things right. And that's why, like, at 24 years old, you're sending me your story to get my take. And I'll tell you what, man, you're in three, you're in a three month relationship. You should, if you're in a three month relationship, you should be with a good, you should be in a good place in that relationship. And you should really ask yourself, um, you know, when you get, let's say you get to six months or eight months, you're going to get closer to her. But if you just tell yourself, Oh, well, I'm, I know I'm not serious about her, but this idea that like, oh, this other one on the side might come back to me. If you care about this, this one that you're in the current relationship with, let her go, you know, let her go. I mean, you're going to, so you're basically, you're going to break her heart. Um, once this other one comes back, I mean, and, and Again, my other question was, does your ex know that you're seeing someone right now and she's completely fine with that? Some things to look at. On the flip side, what's your conscience? If your conscience is, you know, conscience is, I don't really have a problem with a coach. Like, that's, you know, that's, you know, my dad was a um, cheater or whatever. Then that's your, that's your morals. But um that's questionable. That's questionable. Like I said, you're you're setting yourself up to break up with someone in the future that you've only been with for three months. And by the way, to me, when you're with someone for three months, that should be the honeymoon phase. That should be one of the best parts of the relationship. So I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com if you've got a breakup story to tell or if you'd like to do a live coaching and get to the bottom of things. So thank you for supporting the channel.